All right, I'm gonna ask you for personal advice. So, <laughs> I played 10 years for the Giants, as you know. I tore my PCL in 1998. Caused me to get IT band issues. How do I go about keeping myself feeling like I can still do these long marathons? And yeah, it's a great, runs. it's a fantastic question. I mean, not just because you're a pro athlete and got hurt, but when you look at the PCL in general, it's not a very common ligament that gets surgery. Mm -hmm. The PCL, it's a posterior cruciate ligament, it sits right behind the anterior cruciate ligament, and then you have your medial collateral and your lateral collateral ligaments, and those are the four ligaments of the knee mm -hmm. that keep the structure competent and sound. Ultimately, when you tear the PCL, your tibia literally shifts backwards right. on your femur. That's right. Most people, when they're done rehabbing and done playing, say, okay, I'm good to go, I'm not playing, I don't have to do anything. And what happens is you're always gonna get some sort of quad weakness unless you stay on top of That's it. Right. And the quad strength keeps that tibial translation we talked about from happening and that'll decrease the incidence of spurs, irritation, and swelling. You gotta make sure swelling is kept out of the knee. So now we just went through the entire anatomy lesson, but what do you have to do about all those slight injuries you're gonna get? Well, functionality of movement and being even and weight bearing, even movements are important. Most people will just take care of the injury. So you've got to strengthen everything. So it's very important that when you are strengthening and you're balanced, you're even, and you're bilaterally strengthening. And most people think, oh, it's my right knee. I just got to pay attention to my right knee. No, it's about everything. The easiest things to do is using bilateral leg press, yep. doing bilateral half squats, not full squats. You could do split squats, rotating, split squat, walking. You're balanced, you're even. So it's very, very important to keep that quad hamstring group as strong as possible. How important is stretching? Because it's something that seems easy to do, but it's often hard to understand what to do. And obviously, when you stretch, you feel better. Can you say that again to the camera? When you stretch, when you stretch what happens? You feel better. All right. Listen, you can functionally warm up and stretch pretty easily in seven to eight minutes. Get a sweat going. Get your body warmed up. You didn't play professional football and just walk out of the locker room. No. You guys were out there two hours toning up, getting warmed up. If you don't do that, you're gonna have bigger issues, you're gonna strain, and you're gonna end up at our tables at JAG1 Physical Therapy, dealing with our fantastic physical therapist, and we love to see it, <laughs> but why be in the clinic when you can be on the field, the court, the ring, or in your case, running marathons? Yes, I agree.